choke, no joke. You know what it is. Learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms. This one right here is for the mixtape. Let's go. Yo, Nas, I ain't do this for clout. I'm just a real nigga trying to figure you out. How you don't put blood in this Judas mouth. Talking Japanese wine like you're fanning out. Blushing at this bitch that disrespects your kid and her earth. Calming, I know that it hurt. You said Pac left us. When rappers that wink at other rappers in the studio, which made me think, yo, what he got on you? And homie in pink, cause at Webster Hall, he didn't stream one link. Yo, y'all glutton for punishment. I'm sick and I'm done with it. If it was part of your plan, I was hard in my word on it. I'm just your fan. With little celebrity, some say it's just the hate of me. Nah, I'm cut from a cloth. You don't brush shit off. Well, the penthouse of law gotta have a ceiling. Only forgive hoes with sexual healing. And that thought right now is not appealing. With these chicks with the dicks like little Nas X, I'm not a fan. You damaged your brand. Yo, Nas, don't ever do that shit again. I'm signing off. Let's go stand, yeah. Choke no joke, you know what it is. <laughs> you know what it is. Oh yeah, and you nigga, I ain't sorry for shit. I ain't with your boys games, nigga, I'm with the shit. I'm nothing like Nas, I'm with the shit. I'm more like Jungle, wanting to bust your shit. But bro got me on chill. He said I'm Illmatic, ha. with the static, ha. with the ratchets. Yeah. Let's go to Brooklyn, cause he gotta have it. School days, would've called you faggot, and smoked you like a Spike Lee joint. Yo, the greatest of all timers, yeah. got hit with all timers. Ha. You buster, nigga, your mic with the shine. Knockout, Knock yeah, one line is, give you a reason to be a one eye without reasonable doubt. You been a liar, you headache came, jazz o inspired, Rape Dame and Chris, they ran a liar through the rock and the fire. Damn you cold, built the nation, the prop back home. How you the king of LA when Cube is home? How you banging LA after when Nip Cube is gone? Mr. Mr. Smith, yeah, I'm nice with the gift too. The double tundras got those two. Your wisdom, knowledge, that I'm king too. I'm sorry I met the other side of you. Yeah. That's the gift and the curse. Mm -hmm. I'm Christ from birth, from the hearse to the dirt. Fake niggas claim hurt, so I stay on my bullshit like I'm dirt and never shy. Let my feelings fly, Let's go. cause we all die. Yeah. Like y'all been, <laughs> nigga, I'm here. Only fear I have. It's truth not be told, we all get old It's choke no joke, y'all already know Let's go, choke no joke, you already know Learn from mistakes out right now on all platforms This for the mixtape, the 50 year old platinum virgin <laughs> I'm not sorry, I'm not sorry <laughs>
for nonsense. Aries baby in the building, Nisha in the building, Troy in the building, dip set forever. Merry Christmas to y'all. Happy Hanukkah to the others. Feliz Navidad to all my Boricuas or Latinos. Uh, I don't know if I know any, any other languages. We, 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 Merry Christmas to all my French people. <laughs> Merry Mother after Christmas to my ghettos people. Shout out to everybody that still believe that a white man come down the chimney and put gifts under your tree and you live in the projects. I guess you think he came through the incinerator. I see a lot of people in the private chat. Hold on, what's going on over here? Tiana's world. What up? Okay, Tiana's world. I'll see you. That's you in the uh, private. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm at work, so I'm out. All right, I see. All right, so look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an exception. I'm going to let y'all come on. Uh, Khalid, you can come on because you at work. Tim Smith, you ain't doing it right. Your joint ain't coming up. Uh, who else? Monet, what up? See a few of y'all in the private chat. All right, but Tim, your something ain't working. Tiana, your device is not connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into it. The usual suspects that know how to get on will get on. I only see one person that came on, but they left. That had uh that had it right, but I wasn't ready yet. So as I'm going through this, if y'all feel free to, to come in and have an opinion, do that. All right. Tiana's world, you you're not doing it right, sister. You gotta figure it out. Come back. Your device is not connected, it's saying. But Khalid, you can come back, being that you at work. I'll let you uh, say what you guys say real quick. Half Entertainment, what up? Shout out to everybody that's freezing out there. It is cold. I need everybody to say a prayer for all the homeless people that's out there, the, the, the misfortunate people that's out there that don't have heat hot water, you know, just a little prayer, you know, throw up a little prayer, gas mask, I'll see you, all right, um, yeah, so, for all y'all that got a whole bunch of stuff under your tree, say a little prayer for the people that ain't got jack squiggly squat, you know what I'm saying, I know you can't, you don't know who they are, I don't know you know you can't reach them. You can't do nothing for them. But a prayer goes a long way. All right? So all y'all that's bragging and, and happy, can't wait to midnight to crack your gifts, just think about the people that don't have that. All right? It ain't, you know, be just know that you blessed and, and be happy that you blessed. You know, but what I want to do is, um, like I said, I want to bring up, let everybody come on. I don't care if you for Megan. I don't care if you for Tory. It, you know what I'm saying? Let's just keep it respectful. Let's try to keep the language clean and be respectful of both parties. But say what say whatever you gotta say and voice your opinion. All right, so I got one brother here, gas mask. What up? What up, Choke? What's the business, my man? How you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How you? For sure, man. I'm chilling, man. Can't complain. Bless. You know what I mean? Just relaxing, man. I don't really... I'll go ahead. Yeah. So, what you think about the verdict? 
I mean, the verdict, man, I think we can all pretty much see what happened, bro. I mean, uh, you know, they didn't prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he shot Kelsey. So we know um, it was some foul play going on. Um, I typed in the chat real quick that, uh, you know, Tory was originally signed to uh, Interscope. Megan signed to um, Rat Nation. You feel me? And both of them is under UMG. So then we we figure out that, um, you know, Tory, he pretty much beat the system. He outsmarted him. He um, became independent. He took ownership of his masters. You know, he did the NFT thing, sold out in seconds. So then they was pissed off that because UMG lost hella money. And then so with that being said, if he'd have won this case, then that's going to ruin Megan credibility. She going to lose fans. Then he possibly would have sued her. So they, with them being, we know how the industry work. You done went over so much. They not going to take all them elves. You know what I'm saying? Then we know how Desiree did her thing. And she's sitting in the courtroom. She did favors for the, for the man and them. So I ain't really surprised how I went down just because they had to make an example out of him. You know, Tory went on uh, social media. He broke down how the uh, record labels be, you know, getting over on the artists with the percentages and all that. So with Tori as an example, showing the artists they don't need the labels, they couldn't let that go down like that. So with that being said, then we know the injustice system. We know how things is corrupt. So at the end of the day, man, it's messed up, but can't be that surprised, man, when you look at all the, all the details, you know what I'm saying? Even though we can clearly see, you know, he, he was pretty much innocent. Now, what you're saying is uh, 100, 100, 100. But for the people that don't agree with you, let, let's let's go back and let's show the people, let's go back to the beginning when it first happened, how the reports came out, right? Now, stay there. Right. Don't go nowhere because I got, I got this all pulled up already by the timeline in which it occurred, right? So since everybody feel like TMZ is the first and they feel like they're credible, let's go with TMZ. And once again, let me put on my disclaimer because they some flaggers that I'm using this under fair uses up here. Y'all see it over there in the corner, right? All right. Um, so let's go to the first story. This is the one, right? Okay. Now, on this one here, yeah, it is it. Okay. Let's blow this up a little bit. All right. All right, I'm just going to go from the top, even though the time. All right. So, it, at 3.17 p.m. Pacific time, TMZ obtained new footage of the incident, starting with Megan being asked to exit the vehicle and back up towards the police. As you can see, with each steps she takes, she leaves a trail of blood. Um, meanwhile, Lanes is already lying, lying face down and sprawled out in the middle of the street. After Megan sits down on the sidewalk, the other woman in the vehicle is asked to come out. As we told, she can be heard saying, my hands are up, as she follows the cop's instructions. All three people appear to be in swimwear. According to Megan's Instagram story, she and Lanes were at Kylie Jenner's pool party earlier in the night. Now, at 12.07 p.m. Pacific time, uh... LAPD tells, I think this is supposed to be AM, not PM, right? Um, hold on, let me put you on mute for a second. So 12.07, it says PM Pacific time, but I believe that's AM. The LAPD tells TMZ, Megan never told them she was a victim. Or maybe it is 12.07 PM. The next day, probably. All right. So the LAPD tells TMZ, Megan never told him she was the victim of a crime. Right? 
She never told the police she was a victim of a crime. Right? That that's one. For all the people that's watching and in and in support of Megan, remember in the beginning when the police is right there, right here, she never told them she was shot. Right? For whatever reason, just remember that. She never told the police that she was shot, right? Uh that she was a victim of a crime. The spokesperson says at the time. Megan Thee Stallion was with the police. She did not report that she was the victim of any crime. And the LAPD has not received any additional information at this time. It's 12 p.m. the next day. Nobody said nothing about Tory shot me, uh, anything. They didn't call the police, nothing, right? All right. Megan Thee Stallion was shot in the foot early Sunday morning. Uh when she and Tory Lanez were pulled over and he got arrested for gun charges. Megan says, the, narr the narrative that is being reported about Sunday morning's event are inaccurate. And I like to set the, set the record straight. On Sunday morning, I suffered gunshot wounds as a result of a crime that was committed against me and done with the intention to physically harm me, right? Megan says, I mean, Megan does not say who pulled the trigger. But she wants to make it clear. She did nothing wrong, she asked. I was never arrested. The police officers drove me to the hospital where I underwent surgery to remove bullets. And I'm in, to remove bullets. I'm incredibly grateful to be alive and that I'm expecting to make a full recovery. But it was important for me to clarify the details about this traumatic night. I'm currently focused on my recovery so I can return back to my life and back to making music as soon as possible. As we reported, police were responding to reports of multiple gunshots outside of a Hollywood Hills party where Meg and Tori had been. LAPD found a handgun in the SUV that was driven Tory, Megan, and another woman, which is Kelsey. And Tory was booked for possession of a concealed weapon. Not a soul for a deadly weapon, just a possession. As for Megan's injuries, our law enforcement says she told the cops that night that she got she, she cut her foot on glass. That's why officers took her to the hospital for treatment. To this point, police have not connected Tory to the shots that were fired outside the party. All right, now this was originally published on 11.16 a.m. Pacific time, right? Now, that is not the first report, right? This is on July 15th, right? Now, or two days before that, I should have started with this one first, right? Now, check this out. Two days before that, when the incident happened. Now, that the one that I just, the one I just read, Hold on, what's this one? All right, cool. The one I just read is two days after. Now, remember, the incident happened. Megan didn't say short, uh, Tory shot her until four days later. That was the fourth day uh, that, um, that, that she made. No, that's the second, that's the second day that, that she gave that report because she didn't say Tory shot her then. The fourth day is when she said that Tori shot her, right? Now, this is the first report the night of, right? Check this out. Tori Lane's arrested on gun charge, right? This is the first report. Ends night out with Megan the Stallion, right? Now, look. 
They had an update at 5.22 p.m. We learned police have listed Megan as the victim in the incident. She was taken to the hospital immediately after Tori was arrested and treated for the wounds to her foot. Law enforcement sources also tell us four shell cases were recovered from the scene outside the home. They said it was five shots, right? They found four cases. Tory Lanez got busted after an alleged argument outside a house party. Now, remember, this is the very first report. This is the very first report. Tory Lanez got busted out, busted after an alleged argument outside a house party led to cops finding a gun in his car, and Megan the Stallion was there too. This is according to law enforcement. We've learned police got a call of a disturbance outside of a Hollywood residence around 4.30 a.m. Sunday. When officers arrived, we're told witnesses reported people were arguing in a SUV before someone fired shots in the air. Now, remember, when you got, uh, like, Milagro and uh, Lawyers for Workers, they said that the, the witness testified that somebody was shooting in the air. Not at a girl, but in the air, right? And then the vehicle took off. Our law enforcement says cops got a description of the SUV and located it shortly afterward and found the rappers inside along with another woman, which was Kelsey. We're told Meg had a cut on her foot believed to be from broken glass on the floor of the vehicle. And when cops searched it, they found the gun. Now, if you remember the street story, I'm not going to say the real story. I'm just going to say the street story is when they were arguing in the car, Megan started going wild, drunk and crazy, and allegedly kicked out the back window. Now, remember, it was glass found on that street. Or at where the car was. So the window was kicked out. That's where allegedly she could have cut her foot on the glass, right? And she said she cut her foot on glass because she kicked the window out, allegedly, when they was arguing. When Tori's like, yo, get these bitches out of my car. She uh, kicked his window out. That's how they got out, right? Arguing on everything, allegedly, is what the street story says, right? We're told Meg had a cut on her foot believed to be from broken glass on the floor of the vehicle. How would the, the vehicle have broken glass? Because allegedly, from the street story, she kicked out the glass. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say from Tory. I'm just going to say from the street story, right? And when cops searched it, they found the gun. Our sources say Lanes was taken to jail and booked for carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle, a felony. Tory was charged. Remember, this is the very first report. Sources say Lanes was taken into jail and booked for carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle. Now, remember, during the trial, if you listen to the statements from all the people that reported from the trial, the guy EJ, the stylist, when he packed the bags, he said that he saw something that made he, you know, he didn't want to snitch on Kelsey, but he saw something in, the, in Kelsey bag that made his could have been a gun. Now, remember, the bags were in his car. Megan told him to move the bags from his car into Tory car because they going with Tory. This is why Tory got a, a concealed weapon charge because they put the bags in his car. He owns the car, so the owner of the car gets the charge of the gun. I don't care who, if nobody takes the claim for the gun and says it's their gun, whoever owns the vehicle gets the charge. We all know that if you're from the streets. Right? All right. So I was supposed to say Lanes was taken to jail and booked for carrying a concealed weapon in a vehicle, a felony. Now, hold on, let's, 
It is interesting. Early on Saturday night, Megan and Tori appeared together on her Instagram live with Kylie Jenner. At what appears to be a pool party at Kylie's Humbly Pad, Humbly Hills Pad, the reported gunshots were allegedly fired several miles away in the Hollywood Hills neighborhood. We reached out to Tori and Megan. No word back so far. So they reached out to Tori and Megan the day it happened. Megan ain't tell them, yo, Tori shot me. Right? Now, listen, we just went through the very first report. The first day, Tori is arrested for having a gun in his car, not assault with a deadly weapon. Right? Now, let's go to what happens. Hold on. Now, this is what happens next, right? Stay with me, uh, Gas Bass. Because, you know, I'm going to want your opinion on this. At this now, this is what happens next. The reports start coming out, right? And people start talking, and then Tory goes live, right? And says this. There's some things that I just want to say today. I think that they're very important, and I say, um, I know that there's been a lot of speculation about the things that I've been going through and how I've been dealing with them and the insensitivities of just me not like talking when y'all wanted me to talk and saying certain things. And I just felt like I owed my fans, I owed it to my fans and supporters of people who, when they look at me and they look at me as a role model, I owed it to those people as a person to just like give them some sort of transparency and some sort of accountability of certain things. I feel like, um, you know, for those who don't know, for the last three months of my life, I've been in this place where, you know, I've been bashed. I've been cut through just people every single day coming at me, coming at me, coming at me. And it's crazy because the whole thing about it is just like when this whole uh, debacle or whatever you call it um, came about, the whole time it's like she knows what happened. I know what happened. And we know that what you're saying and what the alleged things and the alleged accusations of my name is are not true. It's falsified information. It's false information and it's not accurate information. I don't ever want to come off like I'm here to bash this girl or I'm here to talk down about this girl or ever be at a place where like I'm, I'm disrespecting her because to me as a person, she's still my friend. No matter what, even if she doesn't look at me like that, I look at her like she's still my friend. In, in the times that we were together or around each other, we've had nothing but joyous moments and good moments. So I, I'm not going to sit here and bash her. But at the same time, as it comes to a certain standpoint of me as a person where it's like, yo, do y'all want me to just sit here and just allow my name to be assassinated, my character to be assassinated, everything that I worked for to get here to just be assassinated for something that I did not do, something that the events that are being said are, are not even accurate and accurately being portrayed to everybody, the narrative that's being created or being created to make me come off like I'm some monster is is now what I'm having to live through for three months straight of just people just coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And it's like, yo, I'm not here to beg no sympathy from nobody. I've never been one of those people. I'm not a person that's sitting here like, yo, uh, uh, everybody feels sorry for me. Like, nah, because at the end of the day, if I did what they're saying I did, then by all means, I would say the same exact thing about me. I say that nigga's a bitch ass nigga. He doesn't respect females. He's a fuck boy. And that nigga deserves no respect, period. I've never been a person that all of a sudden, you know, it's, it's, it's everybody all of a sudden like, yo, he he's this guy who uh, uh, doesn't protect black women. And he's this guy who, but it's like, he, he's this guy who doesn't care about black women. That's what the narrative is now switching to and certain things like that. And it's like, hold on, I need y'all to really back this up. When have I not showed out for black women? Every single one of my videos, the lead girl is black. From say it to love to, to now, like when, when have I not showed love to black women? I made, I made five chicks tapes about, about black love, about a black relationship, about a ghetto relationship at that. Like, you feel me? Like when 
did I become this person? Like my favorite song on the last Chicks tape that I put out was Beauty in the Benz. And that was a record that with Snoop Dogg that I loved. And instead of me even being inside of the video, like, like really take me in for a second, instead of me even being in the video, and this is before all this, instead of me being, being in the video, I made the video all about the empowerment of black women. There's nothing but different types of black women in the video, all shapes, sizes, colors, um, um, ages, that just shows the, the, the love in, in, in what I'm doing. And it's like all of a sudden, a narrative comes out with no factual evidence, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. And it's like, yo, I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, I understand like, and I support the whole movement of, of protecting black women, but I want to speak on something. And sometimes, you know, I know I'm not always in the right place to speak on things, but this is something that I went through. And so I feel like I'm able to speak on it. I am all for protecting black women. That is something that is the most, one of the most important things that needs to be taken serious and awareness needs to be brought to. And regardless, if, this debacle, regardless of what you guys think happened, if this situation caused you guys to pay more attention and more awareness to protecting black women, then I'm fine that I had to be dragged through the dirt for that. But I want y'all to understand something. It's a problem when it becomes that black uh, protecting black women doesn't mean to protect black men. That, that doesn't make sense. From the beginning of time, when you really think about how this works, like from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage. And, and from the beginning of time, we've been taught to be with our own heritage, white man and white woman, white girl and white man. I mean, I mean, Spanish man, Spanish woman, Indian man, Indian woman. When you guys start making it like a put black men down and protect the black women, I'm not saying you guys, I don't mean to make it like, oh, you're attacking. But when we as a whole make it protecting black women means putting black, putting down black men, then it comes to a point where it's like, okay, well, who's going to protect black women? Who is supposed to be protecting black women? It has to be black men. It's not the white man. It's not the Spanish man. It's not the man who it's, it's not none of those. It's not the Chinese man. It's not none of those men. It's, it, it is who is who is it's black men. It's black men. And I'm not saying that black men aren't the people who in, in, in times who aren't the people who uh, inflict certain issues and, and mental issues and certain things that girls go through like Black men are, are, are very much the cause of a lot of things that, 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 that women go through because of, at the end of the day, like the way we were raised, certain standpoints, maybe we didn't have a parent around, some things, some, some, some things were just not here to, whatever the case is. But at the end of the day, it's like you got to remember at the standpoint, if, if, if the man is supposed to be, and I say this loosely because I don't want anybody to take this out of context, if the man is supposed to be the, the head and a woman is supposed to be the neck, y'all got to think about this. In order for the head to move, in order for the head to move left, right, whatever it is doing, it needs the guidance of the neck. It needs the guidance of the woman. It, in order for me to smell and use my five senses on my face, for me to lean in or whatever the case is, I still need to, I still need to use the neck. I still need to be guided by a woman. So I made music because I was like, this is how I can speak through what I got to do. This is how I can. We get so mad about artists making songs about the same thing, money, chains and cars. So when a nigga comes out and says his true passion, puts his true heart, his emotions, his, the, the pain that he's dealing with, with his baby mother, his, his child, when a nigga goes and does that and pours his emotion into the tape, oh what, he wrong? I'm wrong, I get shunned off. They took me off of every single playlist. They took me off of every playlist. They didn't want my story to come out. They didn't allow my story to come out because it, it came off insensitive. I came off insensitive to people. Now, now, now I wanna speak on this. I don't ever want anybody to ever think that I've been insensitive to Breonna Taylor. I marched nine days straight in Miami for her and George Floyd. I would never, bro, I've mourned this woman as well. And everyone said, listen, we're mourning a black woman today. and You dropped an album? How dare the disrespect? Guys, let's bring this back. That day that I dropped that album, my mom, that was her birthday. And that was also the day she died. So I was also mourning a black woman, my mother. Gas mask, what you got to say? Um, first off, I want to say to the to the women, right? Particularly to the sisters, I want to say like, don't let this be 
a divide and conquer situation like where this is men against women or us against y'all because it's not that. Let's not get tricked into that. This ain't about if I'm for Tory or for Meg. It's about right or wrong. It's about truth versus lies. And um, I know like like Choke was saying, women want to stick with, with the women and all that, but y'all got to think about if this was y'all father, brother, you know what I'm saying, uncle, whoever, son, all that type stuff. You know what I mean? First off, that's what I want to say. Um, if y'all been paying attention, we've seen Milagro, we've seen Lawyer for Workers, we've seen the dude Mo Gagnat, we've seen it all, we've seen, um, we seen Meg's, um, we seen how Meg didn't handle it from the beginning, how her story didn't changed up many times. We seen how Kelsey, you know, uh, and then we seen how Meg went on the stand and everything was crazy. We seen how Kelsey, it was holes in her situation. We seen how the prosecutor had all kind of trouble holes in their situation. They wound up giving Kelsey immunity. We saw how the witness came. I mean, like, if you look at, like, we got to look at this not from an emotional standpoint. We got to look at it, like, from the standpoint of logic and reason. And if we're doing that, then we can clearly see, like, we might not know all the 100% facts, but one thing we do know is that they did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Tory shot Meg, bro. So there's no way. He should have been found guilty on all three counts. We can clearly see if you're paying attention that the fix was in. Um, you you pointed out how, uh, you know, and, and you was right. It's, it's facts. Like you said, if anybody look it up, it's specialists that, that do this for a living that tell you when they interrogating people, when they watching people, certain things people do that's telltale that so we know that we lying. And if y'all was paying attention, like Choke said, every time – like when he was just showing that interview, every time Meg had a new thought, you know what I'm saying? Every time new thought looked to the left real quick, new, new thought looked to the left, which is a, which is a sign of line. Um, I think it's a travesty. I think the fix is in, man. I think, um, you know, I think people should be up in arms about this, man, because, um, you know, this brother about to lose his life. You know what I mean? 20, he facing 20 something years, deportation, his career. Um, you know, I think, you know, people call me conspiracy theorists, but I, I think if you done looked at a lot of the imagery from Meg's, um, uh, videos and visuals, then we know who she aligned with, you know, Meg looked like an Illuminati puppet. I hate using that word cause it's a buzzword and people start throwing around cons conspiracy theorists. But if you pay attention to how the industry works and how things is running, and what's going on and who's at the top and all of these, all of these things then you kind of can clearly, it should be clear to see what's going on, man. Like Meg ain't believable. She ain't been believable again. I'm not against Meg. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm just for the truth. And I think it should be pretty clear. It's kind of disturbing to see, you know, I see a lot of women saying, you know, Tori shot him. I mean, shot her and, and all that. And it's like, it's just, it's disturbing to me, man. Like, that's just my, that's, that's my take on it, bro. Yeah, it, it's, it's real scary to me, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I've dealt with a situation like this where a girl took me to court and was lying. And I know she was lying. And she was just being vindictive. You know what Right. I'm and we've been seeing this many times. And I got two young sons, man. And, you know, it's just it's unfortunate, man, that people can't clearly see. You know what I mean? Like something ain't, at the very least, people should clearly see something ain't right with this. Like it ain't adding up. You know what I mean? Things ain't adding up, bro. So, yeah, and then, and then and then the third TMZ uh, story. Let Let's go to 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 that because it's like TMZ to me can't be trusted. Like they ain't working with the Illuminati puppets. <laughs> yeah, they with the CIA and all that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, like how y'all always getting the footage that nobody got. Y'all got helicopter footage. Like, where y'all getting this stuff from, dog? Hold on. 